Well, Black and White Network, the coup d'etat to remove Joe Biden is now complete. But however, Beijing Biden actually has like what? Five, six months left occupying the Oval Office. Now, there are some people like uh, House Speaker Mike Johnson. He's actually called for Beijing Biden to resign. Because the thinking is, all right, if you can't actually run for reelection, how can you actually even run the country? Now, we all know, guys, that Joe Biden really isn't running the country like that. Um, that pre prepared uh, letter that was actually put out. Joe Biden didn't write that. I'm pretty sure that Joe Biden didn't even read it. I mean, Joe Biden doesn't actually run his social media accounts. Other people, his handlers do all of that. Because when Joe Biden is actually in front of the camera, guys, Joe Biden is lost. Unfortunately, guys, his mind is slipping away. I want to be serious here for a minute, guys. I really do wish Joe Biden the best of health. I want Joe Biden to actually spend time with his family. Go away. Live a comfortable life because you definitely made our lives uncomfortable. I mean, Americans are definitely suffering under Joe Biden, but I don't wish anything bad to happen to this man. But it's clear the deterioration, man, is you can't deny it, man. You can't deny it. Even if you are a left wing Democrat, you couldn't deny it. People have been hiding Joe Biden for years. They knew what we knew that this man wasn't right. And they just wheeled this man out there and they saw him just slip away. And now it got to the point, guys, to where they couldn't even hide it anymore. I said, guys, that that debate with Donald Trump, that would be a test. I said that there would not be a second debate. And I was right. Maybe there'll actually be another debate, but not with Joe Biden, because now he has actually dropped out. Folks, we got some shocking news here to talk about. Very shocking news actually coming from Joe Biden's brother, Frank. Now, I never even heard of this brother before. I'm, I know that there's another brother. Can't remember his name off the top of my head. But in this case, we're actually talking about Joe Biden's younger brother, Frank. Because he says something, guys, and it definitely seems like he's implying that Joe Biden is pretty much about to die. I hope that's not true, but based on what he said, man, it definitely seems like um, he's saying that Joe Biden is on the clock. When you actually start mentioning something like um, whatever time we have left. Yeah, that's not a good sign. It's not a good sound. Let's get into this. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you watch on Rumble, click the join button to get access to the same thing. And you guys can support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com or supporting us on Locals, both for just $5 per month. Check the link in the description. Here we go. Look at this on the post millennial here and other outlets are actually reporting on this as well. Joe Biden's brother, Frank says exit from race was due to health concerns is glad for a quote, whatever time we have left. Now, like I just said, man, when I hear whatever time we have left, that's not a good sign. Let's say someone is actually diagnosed with a terminal cancer, man. The doctor will just say, hey, we've done all we can do. We can just make you comfortable for whatever time you have left. This is not a good sign for Joe Biden. Now, Biden's family has come out and they, they seem to be doing some damage control on what uh, Joe Biden's brother is actually saying here. But it says here, Joe Biden's younger brother, Frank, claims that his brother's health uh, contributed to Beijing Biden's decision to drop out of the 2024 race. Now, I'm pretty sure, you know, Joe Biden's health isn't great, but um, Joe Biden also wasn't the one that actually said, I'm dropping out. 
that was definitely probably the Democrat establishment like Obama that pushed him out. According to CBS White House correspondent uh, Nancy uh, Cortez, Frank Biden told the outlet, quote, in my humble opinion, absolutely. Joe Biden's health contributed to his decision to bow out of the campaign. Frank Biden added that he is glad for a quote, whatever time we have left. That is a scary phrase right there. Now, Biden's family apparently is actually pushing back on this. Look at this. Nancy uh, Cortez actually uh, puts out. uh, Frank Biden told CBS News that his brother's health, in my humble opinion, absolutely contributed to his decision to buy out. But um, source close to uh, Biden's family says, quote, Frank Biden suffers from alcoholism and hasn't spoken to his brother in weeks. What he said is completely untrue. Now, I don't know anything about um, Frank Biden, Biden being an alcoholic. I mean, I guess I wouldn't be surprised, man. These, Bi- these Bidens, man, are really, really messed up. I mean, remember, that was still actually cocaine in the White House. Who does it actually belong to? We know that Hunter Biden, man, this dude um, is a crack at it. So I wouldn't be surprised that his um, brother is an alcoholic. But just because they say he hasn't spoken to um, his brother in weeks doesn't mean that um, what he's saying isn't true. I mean, a few weeks, I'm pretty sure his brother probably knew that um, something was wrong with him a while ago. Like I said, man, the Biden family is um, just really messed up, man. I mean, is Biden actually suffering um from COVID worse than what we actually thought? Don't know. Don't know. But apparently Beijing Biden is actually going to be addressing the nation sometime this week. Kind of funny, guys, that um, Joe Biden dropping out actually comes out on a Sunday when news is actually really, really slow. It didn't drop out today. I'm wondering why. But the Democrats are in full panic, man. By the way, Kamala Harris, man, is actually um, uh, definitely... Threw her name into the hat. I believe she actually uh, registered to run for president. So we have to see what happens. But uh, Democrats, man, at that convention, man, is probably going to be a war zone. Even though Biden actually came out and said, hey, I'm throwing my hat behind Kamala. But it definitely seems like there's going to be a war at the um, DNC next month. I definitely probably got to check that out, man. I probably got to check that out, man, because it is going to be entertainment for sure. But anyway, guys, what do you guys think of this? What do you guys make of Biden's brother come out and kind of implying that Joe Biden's dying? I don't know, man. I hope Joe Biden isn't dying. I hope he's actually able to live a comfortable life. But um, boy, we have to see what happens, guys. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time. Thanks.